To further weigh in, let's bring in TPUSA contributor and former Olympian Anthony Watson, along with author, speaker, worship leader, and founder of Let Us Worship, Sean Foy. Good afternoon to both of you, and thanks for being with us. Thanks for yeah, having me. Yeah, honored. Thanks for having us. Sean, let me start with you. Uh, you know, so much outrage as to this this uh, opening ceremony at the Olympics. Shocking to see when you know the the world is supposed to come together and unite uh, over the love of sport, over these athletes, their dedication, uh, our countries on the world stage. And, and we saw this depiction of the Last Supper, and obviously, so many are outraged. Why why is this happening right now? Why you know we, we see that you know a lot of times in in the U.S. sports things have gotten woke, but why in France did we see this kind? of a display well there's two two parts of this first i want to say what's amazing is that god loves he loves us so much that he sent his son on the cross to die for the whole world that everyone believes in him can be saved even those that mock him even pagans that hate him and mock him he still died for their sins but the second part of this is that it's very revealing right these these this paris ceremony is very revealing the global leftists are really bigots. They hate Christianity. They don't want peace. They don't want unity. Clearly, they don't want tolerance. Uh, what they want to do is they want to bully Christians out of the public split, out of the public square. They don't do this to Muslims. They don't do this to Buddhists. They don't do this to Hindus. They specifically target Christians. And so, I'm just here to tell you guys, along with you know millions of others around the world, we are not going to back down. We're going to stand up for Jesus, whom we love, and I'm not going to participate in the open mockery of my Savior and my Lord. And Anthony, I have to think uh, if it was another religion, there would be a lot more outrage. It seems that Christians are, are really targeted these days.